It's been a multi-year process to develop the technology to eliminate the copper. And there's no one particular chemical that is a one-to-one -one re replacement for copper, so it's a reformulation of what we have. We're looking for not just performance, but we have to be able to manufacture it reliably as well. Stopping the vehicle is number one, obviously. We, that's our primary function, but we need to do that with comfort, no noise, low rotor wear, low wheel dust. The new Copper Free matches the performance of our current high performance product. It also gives us very low noise and very low wheel dust as well. As a slight added benefit, it is ever so slightly lighter, which will also help a little bit with fuel economy. So we do extensive dynamometer testing in our development. So we test for performance, we test for noise, we test for dust, and a variety of other different characteristics that are important to the overall product performance and the customer satisfaction. Bosch's dynamometers are at Link Test Labs. They are actually the guys that build the dynamometers and we have them run as a service. So we get um, the dynamometer test run accurately and impartially. Beyond copper, Bosch is looking for environmental sustainability and reduced pollution. So we are looking at every chemical that we use and determining is it the right one to use going forward? Does it harm wildlife, uh, plant life, or human life? And if it does, we want to eliminate it. Beyond that, we're also looking at can we use chemicals from renewable sources and reuse of scrap and waste materials that are beneficial to our product so that we can reduce the amount of our footprint for taking the natural resources of the earth. Bosch's aim is not to be the first with the copper-free technology, but it is to be the best.